Chelsea, thanks so much. We want to turn to your pinpoint weather 12 forecast right now. This, for me personally, is the perfect kind of weather right now. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka joins us. However, I know those of you who love the heat and the humidity, Tony, sounds like they'll also get a, a little piece of that this week, too. Yeah, coming up on, on Friday afternoon, Brian, but you're right. It's one of those days where, you know, it's not too hot, not too no, cool. Right in the middle. Right down the middle. Yeah. Comfortable. That's the weather word. Uh, take a look. Uh, behind me, this is, uh, well, Newport Harbor, sunshine, breezy and dry, temperatures that are in the 70s, and obviously anything to do outdoors the remainder of the afternoon and into the early evening, uh, we're looking pretty good. Let's head outside to other locations, and we'll take you to Providence, uh, downtown Providence, where we have sunshine and just a few of these, I'll call them decorative Fair weather cumulus clouds not producing uh, any precipitation. The numbers mid to upper 70s in most areas. Enough of a sea breeze to knock the temperatures down a bit along the south shore from Newport to uh, westerly in the upper 60s. New Bedford looking good, 75 and Taunton at 76. We are cooler for Thursday, a little bit, not much. You're looking at uh, some extra clouds mixing with the sunshine, but it is drying comfortably. You have to be outdoors working. It looks pretty good. And as Brian had hinted, uh, Friday, heat and humidity returning. Now, heat meaning we're thinking temperatures will be up to around 85 along with high humidity and the risk of a passing thunderstorm. If I had to really narrow down the time on this, it would be a window sometime between 2 and 6 o'clock Friday afternoon, Friday evening. So, you know, Friday's not a washout. It, you know, the morning is dry, early afternoon is dry, towards mid to late day with the approach of a cold front. It's got a thunderstorm. Noticeably cooler uh, Father's Day weekend. Temperatures about 70, 75. I, I don't think it's a deep blue sky this weekend, but we'll go back and forth between uh, clouds and some sunshine. Quiet across most of New England, the exception up towards Burlington and upstate New York. A few showers, but you see all this area across the northeast where it's relatively quiet. So we'll keep things rain and thunder free now until at least Friday morning. The heat continues across the deep south and the central plains. A little bit of this sneaking in for Friday afternoon, meaning 85 degrees, but we don't see any kind of a 90 to 95 degree heat. In fact, it does turn much co noticeably cooler again by the weekend. Forecast this evening and overnight is very cool, getting down to the low to mid 50s around 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. You don't need the air conditioner. Tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, it's really one of those days where we're going back and forth between clouds and sunshine. Uh, temperatures uh, between the, the low to mid 70s, so it is a bit cooler than today, but still comfortable. Tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, looking pretty good. And then later tomorrow night, some thicker clouds and temperatures not as cool in the middle 60s. So for tomorrow morning, intervals of both clouds and sunshine. By 11 a.m., the temperature at 70, and then during the afternoon, kind of a you know, partly cloudy, partly sunny type of sky looking at temperatures in the lower 70s. This is actually several degrees below average, but still comfortable. Beach is not bad, but at times you'll have some clouds and other times a bit of sunshine. Bay forecast with a south breeze at 10 to 20 knots and the visibility unlimited water temperature now in the mid 60s. All right, seven day forecast, looking at some heat and humidity on Friday, partly sunny, watch for a late afternoon thunderstorm and then cooling down for uh, Father's Day weekend, Saturday and Sunday, intervals of clouds and sunshine and temps in the low to mid 70s. Chelsea.